The worst type of success is when you achieve all the goals you set out to achieve only to realize there was someone else's goals. In this episode, I'll talk about how to actually live a lifestyle as a property investor, how to build a property portfolio without sacrificing your lifestyle. Because let's be honest, like yes, property can make you a lot of money, but what's the point in like sacrificing so much only for light at the end of the tunnel? Life's too short, you know? You want to enjoy, you want to enjoy the journey, you want to have fun during the process, and that's definitely possible. Um, and guys, I just want to start this video. I'm gonna talk about, by the way, interest only loans and offsets and, and a couple of other things. But I just want to start by sharing that where I am at the moment. So this is obviously Dubai. We're in the beautiful, beautiful Jumeirah Al Qasr Hotel, which is, I think, one of the most beautiful hotels that I've stayed in. And there right here, like you can see the Burj Al Arab, which is a, you know, everyone knows this building is very much, it's much like an iconic building in Dubai. But the reason I wanted to do this video from here is because we actually traveled to Dubai in 2015. I was a property investor at the time. I, I probably only had a few properties, but I could still travel to Dubai, right? I could still come here with my, with my wife. And actually that was the year we got married and, and we had a great time. So we could still do overseas holidays whilst I think at that time I had maybe three to four properties, right? and interest rates are basically the same as what they are right now and now fast forward eight years we can also come to dubai but the difference is back then i just want to show you like the way that this hotel is structured is you've got this like lagoon this like water area that kind of meanders all through it and you've got abra boats that you can take and it takes like a 20 minute boat ride to go around the different islands in the hotel it's just the architecture is beautiful you know there's like 12 restaurants in the in the campus the reason i'm sharing all this is because we went for that boat ride in 2015 and when i was looking up at suites like this you know um, i was thinking you know it would be amazing at some point to be able to afford that my friend who took me that he said that lionel messi it must have been 2014 15 he stayed in one of these places so i was like one day all right and this is like I've, I've kind of achieved that lifelong dream call me materialistic or whatever but i'll take it yeah this was something i really wanted to do and it took me eight years and and i got there but the point is we could still travel whilst being a relatively new property investor with three four properties and we can still travel but now we're able to bear the fruits enjoy the fruits of that long-term property investing i have more than 10 12 properties now actually so you know i can still live this lifestyle or improve actually my lifestyle from before and how i did that one key way in which i did that sorry for going on about that by the way is through interest only loans so i know so many any of you with interest rates rising you probably you maybe own a home and you're like how on earth am I meant to become a property investor when like, I'm struggling to just pay not struggling but like you know it's not easy just to pay my single mortgage off right where I live my principal place of residence and so I just want to introduce you if you didn't already know to this concept of interest only loans interest only means where you don't pay principal you only pay interest whereas on your principal place of residence the reason it's biting you perhaps a little bit is because you're paying principal and interest so you can actually just pay interest only on investment property mortgages on investment property loans you might be thinking well that's great I mean I get it I, by paying interest only I'm not you know having such a negative cash flow outcome on a monthly basis i'm able to re improve my own cash flows but i'm never actually going to pay that property off right i mean that's the the pro is interest only you don't pay your principal off so it doesn't cost too much in fact properties can be positive cash flow maybe it only cost one or two thousand dollars a year but the catch is you're probably thinking why on earth will i go interest only like i'll never pay this thing off but the thing is, and I've mentioned this so many times, and I really want you to understand, if you hold properties for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, even interest only that whole time, and yes, I know interest only loans only go for like three years, five years, the interest only component, but you can roll that over with the same bank, different bank, you can go interest only. I've been on interest only for some properties for like, yeah, 14 years, right? 13 years. You can continue that. 
So when am I ever actually gonna own this property? When am I actually gonna build equity? Well, you don't buy your hard earned money. You build equity or you improve your passive income. You own them outright without debt by selling one or two of them and using the profits to pay off the others, okay? So that way, during your property investing journey, you are enjoying a good lifestyle. You're not having to make sacrifices, right? Because your cash flows are strong. Even though you're paying principal and interest on your principal place of residence, you can still buy, for a lot of you, I know it's not for everyone, for a lot of you can still buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. properties on the side because they're all interest only. They're not costing anything to hold. Maybe they're costing one or two, three, thousand dollars to hold as the interest rate cycle goes up and down and by the way if you also utilize offset accounts right offset accounts which means that if I've got spare cash let's say fifty thousand dollars I put that into my offset account and that actually reduces the overall loan amount interest repayment that I have to give to the bank so if the loan is 500k and I have a hundred thousand in the offset account I'm only paying interest on the 400 500 minus 100k so by combining the strategy of interest only and offset accounts, what you can actually do is you can build a large property portfolio on the side whilst paying off your principal place of residence. Of course, you may choose to go interest only on that too, if you so desire, or you might be rent vesting. But the whole point is that property investing should not need to be like this lifestyle suck, this lifestyle drain, especially when it comes to you know, when it comes to cash flows, when it comes to enjoying the journey, when it comes to higher interest rate environments like we're in now, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be a drag. Like it should be something that is manageable. It should be something that's enjoyable. It should be something that you actually think that it's not all about sacrificing for the future, but I actually can enjoy the process and the outcome. I can have my cake and eat it too, to a large extent. So hopefully that made sense. I want you just to at least consider the use of interest only mortgage structures. Talk to your bank or talk to your mortgage broker about it. That way you're not having to dip into your household budget to, you know, afford these properties on a yearly basis. You can still go on holidays. You can still put your kids in good schools. You can still, I don't know, enjoy the finer things in life. I mean, that, that's what it's all about. What's the point in working so hard just to enjoy the golden years when you're like 70, right? I mean, I'm not 70, I can't talk from experience, but I doubt it that those are golden years. Golden years are when you're 20, or when you're 30, when you're 40, perhaps when you're 50, right? Golden years are not 70, 80, when you're finally enjoying because you've worked so hard with all that wealth, where you don't have your health anymore. What's the point of wealth if you don't have health? Your health is intact, hopefully, when you're 20s and your 30s and your 40s and your 50s. So look to the future, plan ahead, hold multiple assets your wealth improves but don't sacrifice the cash flows okay don't sacrifice the cash flows and interest only loans allow you to get the boast of both boast best of both worlds sorry it's pretty late here my wife and son are sleeping in the other room and it's about 9 30 i think here in dubai but this is just a beautiful beautiful outlook there's amazing amazing vibe here there's the architecture sorry that's a bad shot the architecture in this hotel is is just stunning so i'll leave it there my name's pk and, and guys let me know if you do interest only or if you have any other ideas in which you can you know, improve your cash flows, but that's honestly how I did it, how I travel every single year and how I've been able to, um, I don't want to come across boastful or anything, but how I've been able to like design this lifestyle for my family and myself without compromising really anything. Okay, hopefully that served to, to serve you. Um, Merry Christmas if I don't do another video before Christmas and have a safe and, and festive holiday season. I'll see you in Australia, hopefully in the next video. See you later, guys.